Hello students, welcome back to chemistry class. In the previous class, we have discussed hydrocarbons and today we are moving on to the next topic, it is functional groups. What are functional groups? Children, in the hydrocarbon chains, if carbon, it shares its electrons with some other atoms, some other heteroatoms like sulfur, nitrogen, oxygen, etc. That will change the entire property of the hydrocarbons. Okay, they are called the functional groups. So what are functional groups? In the hydrocarbon chain, the heteroatoms like sulfur, nitrogen, oxygen or any other halogens, if it doesn't, it will change the entire property of the hydrocarbon chain. They are known as functional groups. Let's have a small introduction regarding functional groups and what are functional groups etc. We will learn in this video. Okay. Functional groups. What are functional groups? In daily routine, you want to become a healthiest person in day-to-day -day life. The things which are present in our body, most of them are organic in nature. Okay. For the development and growth, and you have organic components in your body. Okay, what are they? Carbohydrates, fats, proteins, nucleic acids. These all are organic compounds. Students, you have already learned the compounds of carbon and hydrogen are known as hydrocarbons. These hydrocarbons are mostly present in petroleum products. And these hydrocarbons have derivatives also. These derivatives are called functional groups. Okay. Look at here. This is hydrocarbons. You have already learned. Okay. These hydrocarbons, if it replaced by another heteroatoms, which are called functional groups. Okay. These are the functional groups we are moving to study. So, let us discuss the first functional groups. Well, that is carboxylic acid. Okay. In a hydrocarbon, if carbon is doubly bonded with oxygen atom and singly bonded with hydrogen and alkanes so that is the carboxylic acid so r c o o h is a functional group of carboxylic acid every okay can you see the formic acid yes the irritation which is caused after ramsting and the nettle is due to the formic acid so you can see the four uh, acids are present in different uh, components like this okay everywhere carboxylic acids are present okay Coming to the next functional group, it is alcohol. So, in the hydrocarbon chain, if oxygen is comes as a heteroatoms, instead of one hydrogen, if oxygen is comes, so it is called methyl alcohol or methanol. Okay. If two carbon atom, one H is replaced by OH group, it is ethanol. Ethanol is commonly seen in wine and beer. It is a natural alcohol. Okay. Aldehyde is a functional group you can see commonly in almond and vanilla leaf. CHO is a functional group. And the next functional group it is ketone. If uh, carbon is attached with one oxygen, so it is ketone. You can commonly see in mushrooms and uh, strawberries. Okay students, I hope you got a small idea regarding functional groups. Okay, so now let's discuss the functional groups one by one. And let's study what happens these functional groups comes in the hydrocarbon chains. Okay, so if the heteroatoms like chlorine or bromine, these are halogens, is present in a hydrocarbon chain. Okay, generally you can say it is X. X can be either chlorine or bromine, iodine or fluorine, whatever chlorine. If it present in a hydrocarbon chain like ethane, propyne, butane, etc., that will change the properties of the hydrocarbon. Okay. If the functional groups like aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acids and alcohol. Look at here. What is common in these functional groups? You can see oxygen as a heteroatoms. In a carbon chain, if oxygen has come like this, CHO, it is the aldehyde functional group. So the suffix you have to add in the chain as al. Ketone group, ketone group means one oxygen atom will be present in between the two carbon chain. If CO group is present, 
the suffix should be added in the chain it is ketone the suffix is on so what is carboxylic acid in a hydrocarbon chain if two oxygen atom is present so the functional group is known as oic acid so finally alcohol which is common in a hydro in a higher hydrocarbon chain if oxygen atom is present like this one oxygen and one hydrogen so which is alcohol functional group and the suffix should be added that is ol okay now let us discuss one by one first let us take first halogens so halogens like chlorine or bromine any halogen first let us take for that first i will write i'll show you how to write it so this is methane the first member of alkene series methane so what i'm going to do is i just remove one hydrogen from here instead of hydrogen i'll add any one halogen suppose if i add chlorine here if i add chlorine here how will i name this compound you know that already the chain was already the chain was methane right from the methane i just remove the hydrogen and i just added chlorine so the word root is meth the hydrocarbon is meth the word root is meth and what suffix should be added what sub is it suffix no you have to add a prefix the prefix chloro chloro methane chloro methane okay from the methane one hydrogen is removed and you have added chlorine so you have to call the compound chloromethane okay how will i draw chloroethane draw to carbon draw to carbon replace one hydrogen and add chlorine so this is this was already ethane chain so chloro ethane from the ethane one hydrogen is removed so you got chloroethane so you can draw chloropropane chlorobutane etc so on. okay only in the case of halogens you have to add prefix but rest of the high, uh, functional groups you have to add a suffix i will show you how we will fix the suffix over there first let me take aldehyde functional group because oxygen is the hetero atom same compound the first member of alkene series if i take methane from the methane if i remove one hydrogen if i remove one hydrogen and if i add one hetero atoms here again you have to remove one more hydrogen 1 2 3 four. 4 hydrogen so the four valencies with the one hetero atom so what is the name of the compound the word root is meth since it is one carbon meth right along with meth you have to add the suffix how will you add the suffix what is the suffix of aldehyde it is al cho is al so this is methane ring right this is a methane compound from the methane compound you have removed hydrogen and when you write the name just remove the e and add the suffix it is methanal the name of this compound is methanal because one carbon atom with the oxygen functional group the one uh, one carbon atom with the uh, aldehyde functional group how will you draw ethanol since it is f two carbon so one carbon is aldehyde and the rest will be satisfied by hydrogen two carbon with the aldehyde functional groups so it is ethanol ethanol okay so you can draw the say methanol ethanol propanol butanol pentanol hexanol etc so on okay if keto group is coming between the carbon atom you have to call the suffix on if keto group was present in a hydrocarbon 
So minimum three carbon should be required. So the keto group will come in between the two carbon atoms. Then satisfy the valency. The rest of the valencies should be satisfied. Should be satisfied. So the ketone family will be started with the propanol. So how will you name this compound? Three carbon. It is prop. The functional group is CO. CO group suffix is on. So the name will be propanol. Name will be propanol. How will you draw butanol? Draw four carbon anywhere. In, two, in between two carbon atom, draw keto functional group and satisfy the valencies. Satisfy the valencies. Have to check it. The valencies have to be satisfied. How do you name this compound? Since it is four carbon atom, the word root is but. Butanon. Because keto functional group CO. So the name is butanon. So the chain will be continuously going like this, butanol, pentanol, hexanol, etc. Okay? And what is the next heteroatom, next functional group? It is carboxylic acid. If I take, if I take, et, with, how, what is the functional group? COOH. COOH. So this functional group is carboxylic acid functional group and the suffix is oic acid. Count the number of carbon atom. Two. So word root is eth. Ethan oic acid. Eth plus oic acid. E should be removed from ethane and oic acid suffix should be added. So the ethanoic acid. COOH group is carboxylic acid. How will you draw the propanoic acid? Draw three carbon. One carbon should be oic acid. COOH. And rest of the valencies should be satisfied. Rest of the valencies should be satisfied like this. And this is the propanoic acid because three carbon with the three carbon with the carboxylic functional group. Propanoic acid. We can draw butanoic acid, pentanoic acid, hexanoic acid, etc. Okay? Okay. And the last functional group, it is alcohol. Alcohol is the OH functional group. So in a hydrocarbon chain, in a hydrocarbon chain, if I take met, met, uh, methane, so one H is removed and OH is replaced. H is replaced and OH is fixed. So how will you name the compound? The word root is meth. From methane, one H is replaced by OH. So the word root is meth and the suffix is all. Since it is OH alcohol group, the suffix is all. So methanol. Methanol. So how will you draw propanol? Draw three carbon and one OH will, H will be replaced by OH. And the rest of the hydrogen will be satisfied in the hydrocarbon chain. Okay. Okay. Three carbon with the alcohol functional group. It is called propanol. We can draw butanol, pentanol, hexanol, etc. So on. Okay. Okay. Students, so let's, let's move on to the next topic. Homologous series. How can we construct a homologous series? Okay, you have already learned alkene series, alkene series, functional group series, etc. So on. So, homologous series is the group of organic compounds in which they have similar chemical formula and similar structures and which are differed by CH2 group from top to bottom. Okay, so if I write the first aldehyde, like if I write methanol here, if I write methanol here, the next member will be ethanol. Ethanol. 
and the next member will be propanol. Propanol. Okay. In the series, what is the difference? Yes. Here you can see when methanol turns to ethanol, one CH2 has come extra. When it turns to propanol, one more CH2 has to come extra, which means that in methanol, you can write CH3OH. This is the condensed formula, CH3OH. And in the case of ethanol, what, how can you write CH3CH2OH? When it comes to propanol, CH3CH2 CH2 OH. This is propanol. And if it is butanol, how will you write CH3, CH2, CH2, CH2 OH? So the successive members have a difference of CH2 in a series. So that is why the series of functional groups or the series of alkene series or alkene series, they are called a homologous series because they differ by one CH2 unit. Okay? So this is the homologous series.